the dash. <clears throat> all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this party started. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I know. I'm about to share my screen in just a second. I wanted to make sure that I got everybody sent out. All right. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad that you guys are all here. Ladies and gents. <laughs> I have to stop saying guys. a little low. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. I too many things on my desk. It is, you know, <laughs> it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. So uh, my workspace is a little crazy to say the least. Um, it's a little crazier than it normally is. And so, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> so hi, everybody. Um, my name is Nicole Whitlock, and I am the owner and the creator of Ecom Sellers. Uh, we own Ecom Sellers Summit, Ecom Q4 Summit, Ecom Sellers Academy, Ecom Sellers Mastery, and a bunch of other Ecom Sellers stuff. <laughs> we do an Ecom Sellers podcast every Monday at 8.30, so we encourage you to come check us out. And today, we're going to talk about bundles. I'm going to talk about bundles because, again... Bundles are a great way for you to increase your profit margins, uh, increase uh, the minimum order value. And we are going to actually uh, pull up some bundles or create some bundles on the fly. We pull together. So everybody can type in the chat, what would you like? What type of bundle are you interested in learning about today? What type of bundle do you think that would be helpful? Uh, to talk about, to look at. So type it in the chat. What type of bundle are you interested in learning about? Okay, groceries. Love groceries. Groceries is one of my favorites. All right, groceries is a good one. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other bundles? Ah, some steady yeti bundles. Some that make money all the time. Grocery is one of them. Grocery is one that you make money all the time because it's a replenishment. So I love that as well. <laughs> Any others that you would like to look at for bundles? Since we're going to create it on the fly. All right. So again, my name is Nicole Whitlock, and I am going to share my screen. Let me just make sure that I've closed all my windows because I was working on our nonprofit. Giving Tuesday is right after Cyber Monday. And so I was working on the communication that goes out for Giving Tuesday for our nonprofit especially needed. So I have a blank screen now and <laughs> I can share my screen. So let's share my screen. And let us go research some bundles. So let me just talk about bundles for just a second. Uh, one of my favorite platforms to do any level of research on anything is Amazon. Why do I like Amazon? I'm like, there's research tools that you can use and they are great. There's some amazing tools out there. I like to do the free stuff and I like to do the simple stuff. 
So there's always inevitably something that's out there that will give you some ideas, some hints on what type of bundles you could be creating in your business or potentially selling in your business. So Amazon does a really good job of giving you data that's helpful to you when you are headed down the bundles journey. So one of the things that Amazon does is that they've, of course, grouped everything by categories. Every platform does that. But Amazon will also give you the sales rank. And so on Amazon, if you're an Amazon seller, or even if you're not, the one thing about the sales rank on any given product is that the lower the rank, the faster the item is moving. You'll also see when you pull up things on Amazon, um, let's say I type in, I don't know, notebooks. So because there's a notebook clearly on my screen here. So if I type in notebooks, the first series of notebooks that don't have a sponsor next to them are the ones that are the most popular and moving the fastest. A lot of people don't realize that. So again, they're gonna display things in the order of relevance and or importance and or priority. And they give you that information. The other thing that Amazon does is that they give you the frequently bought together. I use that frequently bought together probably about 30 to 40, 30% of the time, maybe 35. Um, because sometimes those things that are frequently bought together make the most sense. So we're going to, um, I have the idea. So one person said grocery bundles. And if there's another bundle that you would like for me to pull together while we're doing this live online, then I will do that. So I am going to pull up what is a bundle. And we're going to look at a couple of examples of bundles because, you know, we're here and we're going to do that. <laughs> All right. So I love that they've already put some stuff Type them in the chat, whatever the type of bundle you want me to pull together. So they've got uh, gifts for kids, gifts for all, gifts for her, gifts for him. I am confident that in these gift groupings that Amazon has already, already put together for us, that several of these actually have bundles in them. So bundles can be something that makes logical sense that goes together. An example of that would be like a salt and pepper shaker, because people... You know, you can go to the store and you can buy a salt shaker on its own, or you can buy a pepper shaker on its own, but it makes more sense that you buy a combo salt and pepper shaker. So putting the salt and pepper shaker together is considered a bundle. Another example would be like your bathroom set. So in your bathroom set, in the bathroom, you might have a shower curtain, shower rings, a um, trash can. Um, you might have a mouth rinse cup and... Um, and a toothbrush holder, that all together, when it's sold together, is considered a bundle. They make logical sense to go together. The other thing with bundles, the concept of bundles, is someone might be selling multi-packs, multiples of the exact same thing. So an example of multiples of the exact same thing is, um, especially in food. So someone might buy a four pack of macaroni and cheese, meaning a four, four boxes together, of macaroni and cheese. Well, this is a popular time to be buying macaroni and cheese because it's, you know, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and all of that other stuff. But that kind of um, multi-pack, multiples of the same thing. Or batteries. Batteries is another great example. Or light bulbs is another great example. Multiples of the exact same thing. Those are other forms of bundles. So let's go see what type of bundles that Amazon has already put together for us because they've already done the work. <laughs> All right, so when I pull this up, gifts for him, gifts for her. Okay. I'm just gonna scroll down. All right, so that's a multi-pack right there. It's multiples of the same thing. Who did I choose? I chose gifts for him, I chose gifts for him. Um, I think I chose gifts for him. Let me go back. <laughs> gifts for him. All right, so I'm gonna go to the kids. Gifts for him, I'm, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff. Kids probably pop up faster. Okay, so kids, we've got, here's one. Okay, so this is clearly, it's a multi-pack. It's 12 packs of socks. And so this is a bundle and you've got 12 sets of socks in there and that's pretty easy and that's pretty, <laughs> pretty straightforward. The other thing, there's multiples of that as well. Let's see if they've got any bundles. Okay, so here is a three pack of pajamas. So it's three of them then put together and that is a bundle. So three of the same thing, clothing. You know, we still got the socks. Pencils are already gonna come in a cat in a, in a pack that's like crayons. 
Um, this is a top bottom, and it looks like a head, um, head wrap for a little kid. Um, those are cute. Then you've got the two sisters, like a surprise set, the bomb set. So this is another example of a bundle um, that you've got multiples of you know, different types of things all put together. And so they're selling a um, six pack. I'm assuming a six. Let me go back and look. My little screen thing is in the way and I have to move everything out of the way. Okay, so yeah, they're selling a six pack. So since they're selling a six pack, again, this is a great bundle. This is the private label bundle that they put together, which all of you have the opportunity to put together some private label bundles, okay? Most people don't think about that, but it is an opportunity for you. So if you're already selling like bath bombs, maybe you go ahead and brand it. Maybe there's a white label opportunity where you actually can create a brand, put your name on it and sell it. People will buy it online. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do, so we looked at you know a couple of sets, a couple of multiples. This is really prevalent, prevalent I can talk, in grocery and some other categories. So let me go back. I'm going to do um, Amazon Top 100 because there's always some either multi packs or bundles in Amazon Top 100. Hold on. Amazon Top 100 or Amazon bestsellers. Amazon bestsellers and Amazon Top 100 are the same thing. So if you type in Amazon Top 100, it brings you up Amazon bestsellers. Okay. <clears throat> so when I look at this Amazon bestsellers, I have to keep moving this little thing around. It's so so crazy, I have to keep moving it around. But anyway, so this is Amazon bestsellers and we're gonna find automatically some bundles. They have all these amazing Amazon categories and then they're showing you which categories have the fastest moving items right now, okay? So baby has a lot of stuff that's moving, of course. People have a lot of kiddos and people are traveling for Thanksgiving so they need diapers, let me order all this stuff. Uh, you got clothes and jewelry. You've got um, household, health and household. So a lot of batteries are being sold right now. Why is that? Probably because people are buying toys that require batteries. Then you've got camera and photo products. And this is actually a bundle. We'll come back to it. And then you got software, electronics. So these are the things that are moving the fastest. But if I click on any of these, I'll see the top 100. If I choose beauty and personal care, I'll see the top 100 products there. If I choose uh, clothing, shoes, and jewelry, I can take a deeper dive and see the top 100 products there. Um, if I go into arts, crafts, and sewing, I'll see the top 100 products there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose. Let me just talk about this one bundle that we can clearly see right here. So this particular bundle, um, and this one looks like, I don't know if that's a multi-pack, if they're really selling mm -hmm. that complete, like they're separate and then they just put those together. I don't know. but. Um, I am going to go ahead and open this one real quick. And I'm going to point out a couple of things about this listing, this bundle, this amazing bundle. First of all, you know, you got the telescope. Okay, you have the telescope right here. And then you've got all these pieces that go with it. And then it also has, it looks like it also has a travel carry bag. That's very helpful. So we've got this telescope. It's got all these pieces. It's got a piece to hold the phone. It's got a piece. It's got... Um, some kind of remote control or something. Um, I think there's like, if I look at the next picture, it's got the bag, it's got all the pieces, it's got the phone holder. Mm -hmm. And so what they've done in this first picture is they show the entire, uh, all of the bundle pieces together mm -hmm. in a cluster. A cluster photo is good. You need to have a cluster photo. Then they break down all the pieces and you can see those as well, okay? Then the next thing that you see is, you know, they show this particular item in use. So, you know, what you might see if you buy this item, then they show the, the um, swivel to move the, the, to move the telescope around. And then I think there's like the phone attachment is, oh, they show the phone attachment here. They don't show it anywhere else. Yeah. And then they show the item in use. So the things that they've done with this photo is they've shown all of the items together. Then they've kind of broken down the items, showing them individually. It's separate so you can see all the pieces that come with it, including the travel bag that's down here. Then they show the item partially in use here. This is the result of what you're gonna see when you look at it. Here is a person with the, with the actual item together. And then they break down some other pieces that are 
considered important regarding this particular product. And then they've got their title of, of what this particular product is. And then they've got some bullets here to tell you about the product. So I was talking about the fact that Amazon tells you what is popular, what is, you know, what's moving, what's not, and the rank on things. So if you come down on any listing and go to product information, what you're going to see is you're going to see, you can see the ratings up above. This clearly is a popular item. And it clearly has some great ratings. The other thing is that you can see that this is number two under the category of camera, photo, and products, okay? Number two, and it's number one under the secondary category of telescope refractors. So this is a very popular item and it is moving like crazy. I'm sure that it's being bought because of the holidays, um, which makes sense because you know you need to get people uh, gifts for the holidays. So it makes sense to actually be, uh, you know, buying this item because the holidays are, are here. So the next thing is we were going to go look at arts, crafts, and sewing. All right. So arts, crafts, and sewing. Okay. This is a three pack of scissors. So again, that is a bundle. They are all scissors, and some people will list this like it's a multi-pack, and other people will list it as, you know, um, it is a bundle, and the reason is because they're different colors. So I personally, you know, they're all the same scissors, it's not a different design, it's not a different anything. Um, and so, you know, you can classify it either way as a bundle or a multi-pack. As I come down, I start to see some things. So this is a jewelry making kit. Clearly, this is a bundle of several different pieces. So the kids can make a kit or whoever, it doesn't have to be kids, it could be adults. Same thing down here, you've got several different pieces and they've put together this, this entire thing. So bundles can be known by kit, they can be known by set, they can actually have the word bundle in it. Um, there's so many different things that may say X number of pieces. And so those are all hints that this is probably a bundle. Um, the other thing, so, these are brushes, so that's, you know, it's got X number of pieces in it. Here is a bundle set. Um, it's a circuit, so those people that have that little circuit machine, they actually have a bunch of pieces that are in here, and they, they're showing it in the packaging. You know, showing it outside of the packaging is always helpful as the primary image, but again, they're showing it um, inside the packaging. And so those are all examples of bundles as well. I am going to go over and let's go look at some multi-packs. Let's see, look, this is a this is a great bundle because it's got it's got the scissors. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one up. So this one has got the thread, it's got the little safety pins, it's got the little needle needle threader, it's got the little needles, it's got the scissors, it's got, you know, if I got to break the thread, it's got that little thing, it's got the little finger thing. So they've got that all showing and it's got its own little carrying case. Then the second picture, they're breaking down. Again, what I talked about before, every single piece that's in here. So they're separated out. So you can see what you're getting. This is a great listing. Then they show you the different kinds of thread that you get. Then they show a person showing the product in use. Many different ways in which this product is in use. they are all hints on creating a bundle listing. Same thing here and same thing here, what you might use it for. So they're showing an example of, I've got to sew something onto a shirt. I've got to mend a dress. I've got to put a button on. I've got to fix a toy. These are all great examples of this, you know, things that are going to attract the eye when it comes to creating a bundle listing. The other thing I like about this bundle listing is that the image, the person did a great job of making sure the image goes all the way to the corners. There are so many bundle listings that I've seen where there's just a bunch of white space. And so this particular thing is in the middle and it's tiny and, and you have all this white space around it. But in this example, they've done a great job of making sure that the photos that they have, the images are spread out. They go all the way to the edges of all of the available space, which means this one is going to be really clear when the buyer, potential buyer, pulls it up on their mobile device. Because over 60% of purchases are made through a mobile device of some type. So if that's the case, you don't want your pictures to be so tiny that you got to do the pinchy fingers just so somebody can look at the listing. The fact that it goes all the way to the edges is a good thing. 
again, showcasing the product and then showing it in use. This is a great, great listing. The other things about the listing that I like, okay, so they've got the price. This is clearly a sale because, you know, we're in the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. They tell you, um, you know, they're, they're giving you some great information about it. And they are, they know that this is, we know that this is a sewing kit. And sewing kit is in the first five words of this listing because that's what it is. It's a traveler, travel, traveler, sewing kit. So sewing kit is in the first five words for this listing. They've got the bullet points, the bullet points showcase different aspects of this particular product. And then as I go down, the thing that I pay attention to from time to time is I pay attention to the frequently bought together. So I see that you do get some safety pins with it, but it may not be enough safety pins. So it looks like the people that are buying this are also buying these additional safety pins because they need it. It's a 300 pack, it's 595. So for those who are thinking about, you know what, I'm gonna put together a bundle and I wanna sell um, some products. Maybe you go out and you decide you're going to source for a sewing kit, but you might also source for an additional set because they're giving you that information already, an additional set of safety pins, which means that they're going to potentially buy your sewing kit product over somebody else's sewing kit product because you have maybe more, uh, more safety pins than this one does. Um, you'll see that newer versions of this item, you see it has 136 pieces. So they're telling you in the listing how many pieces in a newer version of a similar item. So again, paying attention to the listings on Amazon, paying attention to the description, paying attention to the keywords that are used are gonna help you create amazing bundles. As I scroll down, I can see the ratings for this particular thing and the ratings are at the top as well, but I can see the ratings for it. I can also see where it sits in arts, crafts and sewing. I can see that it is number one in sewing product, uh, project kits. So the secondary category, this is the primary category that it's in. And the secondary category, it is number one, this particular item. So again, what makes it number one? Well, there's many different things that make this a good listing. And probably the fact that it's gotten so many ratings doesn't hurt that it's gonna pop up first above everything else, All right? So let's go look at, I hope that was helpful. I hope you made some notes <laughs> on what I pointed out. And now we're going to go look at some multi -pack. So like I said, majority of the time, the multi-packs, there's a, some great examples of multi-packs over in grocery. So I'm going to go to grocery. I'm going to try to go to grocery. And I need you guys to give me one more bundle that we're going to talk about. So somebody type a bundle in the, in the comments that you would like me to either help you get ideas on, to compile, to research. Give me a bundle, type it in the chat. I need one more bundle. So one person said grocery, so I'm gonna use grocery in just a minute. So another, the second bundle idea, pets. Oh, that's a good one. Dollar Tree bundles, Dollar Tree bundles are always good. Especially Dollar Tree is going up, you know, dollar 25. So do not be surprised when that happens. Um, health and beauty. Okay, so we're going to do grocery for sure because grocery was the first one that somebody put out there. And maybe we will do pet and Dollar Tree, or maybe we'll do pet and uh, health and beauty. I don't know. Let's just see. All right. So I am going to go through, and I'm just going to scroll down for just a second. And you know, I'm seeing all of these um, these sets. So this is hmm, this is a multi pack. So this is a multi pack, a pack of six of the ten cups. So they're telling you, you get six of this, six of the same thing, okay? Six of the same thing, which does what? It actually raises the minimum order value. To order, it raises the value of this particular product because I'm getting six of these. Because when people who make coffee, you know, do they want to go out and buy more of these? Or do they, you know, how fast do they burn through them? How easy are they to use? You know, will I have to buy some more? The chances are you probably have to buy some more. So can I, six boxes of 10, very helpful. Maybe easy for storage. I don't know. I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> but again, this is a multi-pack that's already on Amazon. So we're looking at, this is the first photo. And the photo, again, they go to the edges. At least this part goes to the edges. Oops, am 
I, me and my mouse are fighting with each other right now. So they go to the edges. Okay, so they're taking up what available space that Amazon is giving them for this image. Then you show the product by itself as a singular product. Then I see it spread out into the six boxes themselves. So I get 60 of them. Then there's a person that's holding a coffee cup. So again, sort of indirectly in use because of the fact that um, you know, somebody's holding a coffee cup and it's got coffee in it. But the other thing is giving you some key information about this particular product. Remember when we were looking at the telescope, like they had the little arrows to show that the telescope thing rotates and moves. Again, they're giving you some key information about this particular product, okay? That this is the dark roast for those people who like dark. They're showing coffee again. They're showing a person making coffee, giving you some additional head, uh, information. And of course they got a video. We're not gonna watch the video, but Again, they've given you some great information in these pictures and the pictures are nicely scaled um, and that's helpful. They've got great ratings. So you can see it's over 25,000 ratings. So clearly this is a product that is selling, that is moving and there's multiples of it. So could you all go out and could you source, you know, these uh, little pods? Could you be selling coffee pods? Answer there is, yeah, you could, <laughs> you could. Go out and find out who's got white label and you can source it and then you can put your label on it or you can see if you're approved to be able to sell this brand, find it at a good price, but set up some wholesale accounts with um, grocery and then sell it yourself. Opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. So as I come down on this multi-pack, what do I see? I see frequently bought together. So people that are buying this are also buying pods for Starbucks. So Starbucks and this one, hmm, don't know why, but Amazon has some data that is revealing to them that people buy that buy Pete's also buy Starbucks. So opportunity there. Yeah, could somebody put that bundle together? Yes, they probably could. Now I will tell you because these are branded, <laughs> there's a high probability that Starbucks would not be happy if another brand was sold with its brand and vice versa. So you may not be able to sell these together on Amazon, but can I potentially sell them together on another platform? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> so something to think about there. And then as I go down, I can see they've done great, great job with their branding. This is, this is brand registry, all of the awesome pictures here. Um, as I come down to the product details, again, I can see that this is number 10 in grocery and see that it's number four in single serve coffee capsule pods. So it's number four. That means this is flying off the shelf. So these are all things that you could think about as a potential seller of this product. So we looked at a couple of different products. We looked at some multi-packs. We looked at a bundle. We looked at other types of products. Is there an opportunity for you to source these? Absolutely. You just have to do the research. If these are already selling and you put yours out there, is there a possibility you'll get some hits? Yeah. You might not be number four, you might end up being number 2000, but you're still getting some sales. So your goal is again, to find suppliers where you can source it. You can either jump on existing listings. So piggyback off of existing listings, sell it on other platforms. Because if it's moving on Amazon, is it moving if you sell it on eBay? Yeah. Is it moving if you sell it on another platform? Yes. So Amazon's telling you, this is a product that's hot. I can sell it on other platforms and still make money. So heads up, pay attention. So now let's go and do some research on grocery. A couple of things that people said, let's do some grocery bundles. Uh, we had pet, beauty, health and beauty, and um, dollar tree. All right, so groceries. <clears throat> what do you think is moving right now in grocery? <laughs> well, I am confident that a bunch of, besides coffee, because people love coffee. Uh, I'm confident that there's a bunch of uh, Thanksgiving or, you know, get together food items that people are buying in bulk is going to give you an opportunity, sweet treats and things like that. So um, I'm just going to scroll real quick just to see if any of these are in the top 100 that I'm about to pull up. Some more coffee, there's baking soda, more coffee. If you guys are not selling coffee and you don't see the coffee is clearly in grocery and gourmet foods, that coffee has showed up at least eight times. That should be a hint to you. If, if you're not selling coffee, you might want to hint, 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 think about selling some coffee, okay? Because <laughs> people are clearly buying coffee. 
they're buying a lot of it, different brands, a lot of different kinds. Okay. <laughs> they're buying coffee. All right. So let's, I am going to go to a couple of grocery stores because we're going to make some groceries. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to think about what's happening right now. So it's Thanksgiving and then we have Christmas, people are getting together. So we're going to be making meals. So if I said, um, Thanksgiving meal ideas, I'm just using Google. Google is your friend. Google is your favorite friend. All right. <laughs> so Google will give you some hints on what you could be putting together, what you could be selling. Uh, what you could be considering to put together. So we've got all these amazing Thanksgiving dinner pictures here and plates and all this other stuff. And here's one Thanksgiving dinner ideas and side dishes. They've got pictures of food. If anybody is hungry, I'm hungry right now. Um, and then they have, so this one is a book or maybe a craft. I don't know. Maybe that's a Pinterest page. These looks like crafts maybe. Uh, we might go down two paths with that one. Um, then we got side dishes, um, got creatives, I'm just looking, 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 Din Thanksgiving dinner menu, da, 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 da. All right, so these are modern dishes for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna go back up to this first one because it looks like this is in, um, it's the keeping it simple crafts. I don't know what they're doing, but I love the challenge of finding something. All right. So keeping a simple craft, she does a great picture, um, but I'm not getting anything else that's significant, that's important to me. So let me just ask you a couple of questions. Keeping it, this is Thanksgiving ideas. The first thing that comes to mind is jarring. People do do a lot of canning. This is the time of year they do canning. There's a lot of canning. Canning happens all the time. So could you be putting together bundles for canning? Could you include canning um, some, so the uh, glass jars with the lids, you know, the, the, uh, the lids so you can seal and uh, vacuum pack it and include some recipe cards or include a book on canning. So that's a great bundle that you can put together. You can buy a 12 pack of the uh, jars. You can maybe buy those wholesale. And with that, put a book, a cookbook around canning. Because again, people are going to be buying that. And that is, again, just a side note of a type of bundle that you could be putting together that has a grocery, grocery aspect to it. The other thing is that you see this turkey all the time. So what if, I know people will do deep fried, there's different types of turkeys that you can do. So of course, there's Cajun, there's fried turkeys, there's a couple of different things. What are all the accessories or pieces that you could be selling to people if they're going to do a Cajun turkey? So you could uh, sell the, uh, the bag that people sometimes will cook the turkey in. Um, so the bag with maybe a seasoning kit that goes with that. So that is a bundle. You don't have to sell the meat. You don't have to sell the turkey. You can sell the things that people are going to use. You can also sell those tinfoil um, containers, multiples of those. You see those sold all the time two packs or three packs or four packs. So you can sell the two pack or the four pack with the actual bags to put the turkey into it. And you can also sell the seasoning and put all three of those together because they're all related to Thanksgiving and this making of turkey, okay? So that's one. You can put together, um, so rolls are the good one. You can put together a baking kit around making dinner rolls. So everything that goes with it to make the dinner rolls. So you could include the flour. You could include the cooking pan or, you know, the pan that you're going to uh, put the rolls on. You can include the baking soda and the baking powder, everything that you're going to need, the yeast, everything goes together into one bundle. It's a whole kit. So somebody buys that roll kit and it's an opportunity for them to make rolls with their kids mm -hmm. and you're giving them the pan. So again, that's something that people will do this Thanksgiving. All the time you see in, in movies, they're, the whole family, the, the ladies, or sometimes the guys are in the kitchen together and they're making stuff. Somebody's doing one thing, somebody else is doing another thing. You get the kids involved. And so this becomes a whole thing that people are doing. So this is cranberry sauce. You could sell um, a couple of different things with the cranberry sauce. So it looks like they've got the orange strips or the, you know, from oranges or 
Yeah, oranges. They got the dried cranberry. So you could, if you have access to dried cranberries, you could actually put together everything to make cranberry sauce and sell the dried cranberries with that as a kit. Now that's fresh food. So I don't know that I would do that unless you're like in a farmer's market. But if you do have a farmer's market that's available to you and you can't source all of those things, that would be an awesome one because people would just come to your booth and buy the whole kit together. Um, so I know that another one that people will make when I see this apple fritter cake, it made me think of peanut butter brittle. So peanut butter brittle is something that we used to make with my mom um, for Thanksgiving. And, you know, like for Halloween, sometimes people will make the candied apples or, you know, bobbing for apples, caramel apples. So we used to make peanut butter brittle. So again, you could put together a peanut butter brittle kit that has everything so that the kids can get involved so that people can make the peanut butter brittle. And so there's so many food opportunities. You could sell multi-packs of uh, potato, uh, mashed potatoes because you've got, um, I think, nope, not mashed potatoes here. She doesn't have it. But I think one of the other pictures I saw mashed potatoes. But anyway, you could sell uh, the most multiple boxes of mashed potatoes, multiple boxes of macaroni and cheese, multiple boxes of stuffing. As a matter of fact, if I just type in stuffing, let's see if they are selling one box or multiple boxes. What do you think the answer is gonna be? Okay, because it's not often that somebody is going to buy one singular box of something during the holidays. Oh, look, here's a two pack just in the first scroll. I didn't even have to go very far. Okay, so there's a two pack of that one. This one says it's a three pack of stuffing. This is an eight pack. So clearly people are not buying a singular. This is a two pack. So again, multiples of the same thing. You, there's like almost everything on this page is a pack, meaning there's multiples of the same thing. It says one box, this is a three, this is eight, this is three. So you're buying three of that one. Uh, this is a three pack, this is a three pack. That's a one, this is a one. So there's a handful of ones, two, 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 four. This one is a three, this is a 12. So you get the hint <laughs> that people don't normally buy around the holidays. They don't normally buy one of something. The majority of the time they buy multiples of something. So you could be selling what people are gonna buy. And will they buy it off of Amazon? Yes, they'll buy stuffing off of Amazon. They'll still buy mashed potatoes off of Amazon. They'll buy rice off of Amazon. They will buy um, um, mashed potatoes off of Amazon. Like all of your shelf stable foods, they'll buy them off of Amazon. They'll buy the kits for uh, making cakes. They'll buy the kits for making cookies. They'll buy them off of Amazon. So it's a great opportunity. Um, and I'm gonna go and look at, we were looking at food before. So is there any baking, uh, baking gifts? I'm gonna put baking gift ideas, uh, baking gifts. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put baking gifts. Let's just see what comes up. All right. Uh, oh, that's a cutie. <laughs> that's awesome. This right here is awesome. They've got the cupcakes. They got all the spices for you to be able to make cookies. And it's all in a jar. That is great packaging. I think that is very cute. Can't see it. I'll just blow it up a little bit. So they've got all the little pieces. If you're going to make cupcakes, or you're going to make cookies. And they've got the uh, cupcake holders inside and all of it is in a big jar. They've attached this little whisk. So again, these are all things that I'm going to need to make this. This is a great, great gift idea. Great gift idea. All right. Um, I'm going to go down. I'm looking for a specific one that I see all the time that's sold all the time at Big Lots. I don't know if you guys, have, if you've ever, here's one. All right, so here's one of my favorites. Um, they've got here, they've got the little um, pouch or holder um, with the baking supplies in it and the spatula. So when I look at this, I've got sort of a, you know, a cooking, I forget what it's like a mitt or whatever. And then they've got the Betty Crocker maybe type of um, cake mix in there. And then they've got a spatula to go with it. And so there's, they're all, that's a great combination. It's a great gift idea. And they sell these like right now, already made, ready made for you at um, Big Lots. I buy them all the time. I sell them all the time. So I don't even have to think about putting the bundle together. Somebody already did it. 
I just have to go and deconstruct it when I take the pictures to put the listing up so that someone thinks that I put it together and I did really didn't. I didn't do the work. I was being lazy. So, but again, look at all the pieces. So this one's got the little a cookie cutter shape in it. This has got the cookie cutter shape. This has got the gear of deadly. So then maybe you're putting some, you know, chocolate chips in there and the kit. So all kinds of ideas. And these are things you can put together yourself. I think they sell them also at Ross. If you go to Ross, sometimes you'll see these kits already put together. Um, it's a great combination. See? Already ready to go. And did you borrow these pictures? Well, if you can find a royalty-free version of them, I'm confident that you can borrow the pictures and put the listing up. I'm just saying. So, I mean, it's already sort of done for you. So you can show it put together and you can show, show it broken down. Um, and the ones that I normally see already have the engraving on them, but you see the spatula, you see the different, uh, you see the cookie mix, and then you see the little cookie cutters already there. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to now move on to, we've already talked about groceries. So that was a good one. Hopefully that was helpful for you all. And I'm going to go to, what was the next one? So we had, I think it was pets and uh, yeah, the mason jars. I couldn't think of what they were called. I never, look, I got COVID brain these days. And so sometimes I cannot remember the names of stuff. So I'm going to go to pets, but I'm going to go where nobody is thinking that I'm going to pets. So let's go put together some pet ideas. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Google because Google is what? Google is my friend. Google is my friend. <laughs> Google reveals all. Google and Amazon reveal everything. Everything you need to know to be able to sell products, you can combine those two and you'll be like, oh, I got a product idea now. Okay, so uh, pet, uh, pet Christmas gifts. All right, so Google is my friend. All I did was type in pet Christmas gifts. I could have said pet Thanksgiving gifts. I could have said pet New Year's gifts. I could have said pet holiday um, holiday gifts. I could go after Halloween gifts, like pet summer gifts. I could go after all kinds of companies. Small pet gifts, big pet gifts, medium-sized pet gifts, long-haired dog gifts, you know, long-haired dog gifts, short-haired dog gifts. Like you could go down the gamut and start getting some product ideas in the pets category. So immediately, I do love when there are already gift ideas that have been put together for you on the front page. So what I would do is I would deconstruct this entire uh, gift idea and see if I can create my own version or make my own. So um, here is all the pieces they're telling you. So we've got, I don't know what this is, some kind of toy, some kind of baked good some kind of pull toy, some, this is all dog. Uh, I don't know what that is, I have to read it. Some kind of goodie box, so you can come up with your own version of that. And a blanket, that's, that's what it looks like to me. So you could go and read what's all in here to see if you can find it included. They're telling you a blanket, a recipe uh, for a crunchy treat, uh, some kind of rope, the rope thing that I had mentioned before, the little discs, okay, I don't know why those are relevant, but you get two discs. Um, cute dog, bandana. So that was a bandana. I would have never thought that was a bandana. Where they laid it out, but that's okay. Doesn't matter what I think. Somebody's, oh, there's a bandana right there. So somebody's buying this. Clearly, people are buying this, okay? Um, why, how, why do I think people are buying? Well, first of all, it showed up when I just did a Google search for uh, pet Christmas gifts. They, this is showing up in the ad section which means that they are paying for this real estate space to show up here. That's the first hint. If they're paying for real estate space and it's still up here, that means that that product is clearly selling for them and they're gonna keep paying for real estate space for this thing to kind of pop up here. The other thing is they know that they've done a fantastic job with this picture because they have all the critical colors for Christmas. They've got the red, they got the green, they got the white. <laughs> so they know that as everybody else is showing their pictures, I got a picture that looks like Christmas. My picture, the entire picture looks like Christmas. So my, my product that I'm trying to sell is probably going to get more traction than somebody else's, even if they do have a perfect Christmas gift. And the reason mine is because I put the entire 
bundle and Christmas colors. So you get the person's attention immediately because they typed in the fact that they were looking for Christmas gifts. This is perfect. Whoever put this together, they clearly know what they're doing in marketing. So as I kind of look at this, could I go find all these pieces? Could I buy these toys separately? How much could I spend for this disc? These, little, these two little discs. How much could I spend for a goodie box? How much could I spend for treats? How much could I spend for a bandana? I mean, like if you spend more than 25 or 50 cents for a bandana, you clearly don't know how to source correctly. Um, this pool toy. So can I find a pool toy? Yeah. Can I find a blanket for a dog? Yeah. Can I find these discs? Probably. I hadn't tried. Uh, can I find these? So if I find all these pieces, I can put together my own version. And I want to make sure that the colors that I find it has a hint of red and a red hint of green, take an amazing oh picture with them all together, <laughs> and then use that to be able to attract people to my listing. And if you do that on any platform, whether you're selling it on Macari, Poshmark, Facebook, Walmart, um, Facebook Marketplace, Walmart, eBay, Etsy, you're going to get traction. You're going to get traction on that list. Okay. So let me go down and let's look at some other pet gifts. So, oh, this is so cute. Stop it. All right, so these guys are selling some kind of bark box. Again, they're putting together a combination of things to sell this bark box. This one they've put together, DIY Christmas gifts for dogs. So let's go look at the DIY Christmas gifts for dogs. Let's see if we can deconstruct this and maybe come up with our own idea and be inspired by somebody else's idea here. So these are pet pillows, uh, pet donuts. So what is it, like rolled up socks? I don't know, I can't tell. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Um, there's rope. Okay, so I would have to look up how you do this, whatever this is, or could I find a version of something where I could put multiples together and then I could tie a bow at the top. Buying the bow or sourcing the bow is easy. Like you can buy a string of bow at like Dollar Tree. Okay, that's, that's an easy one. Trying to figure out what this thing is and how you deconstruct it or maybe find a version of something where you can stack some dog toys together, wrap them up in a bow, take a picture of it, take really good pictures of it, get some lifestyle pictures of it and then sell it. As long as this in red, white, and red, white, white, and green, you have a better chance of selling this particular item. So this is a, a good example of a product that I could potentially sell. I just need to know what's in here. If I know what's in it, I can find a replacement. And even if I don't know what's in it, I could, if I can find something that's small, that's stackable, that dogs or cats, more likely dogs, dogs chew on everything, um, <laughs> like, then I could, um, I could use this you know, this idea and put something else in there as a replacement. So the other thing about pets is that this is the time of year in which people are um, clearly buying bundles and the bundles that they're buying are around pajamas. So do you think people get pet pajamas? I don't know. Let's go look. <laughs> I already know the answer, guys. <laughs> So let me do holiday pajamas. All right. So I'm pulling up holiday pajamas. I have to move the little thing out the way. And on the first page, in the first section, what do I see? Well, you see, I see matching pajamas, blah, 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 blah. Go over here. Because this is sponsored. This is sponsored. So I'm paying attention, but I'm not paying attention. What do I see over here? I see a dog. What does the dog have on? A bandana that matches the rest of the family. <laughs> So could you be sourcing pajamas? Could you be selling pajamas? Could you be selling things for pets? Oh, look, I scroll down. What do I see? Oh, look, a dog is in the picture with the rest of the family. And another dog is in the picture with the rest of the family. And they have on the same style as the family. Why are they doing that? Because they're going to be taking pictures for the holidays and they're going to be uh, using that maybe as their Christmas card. They're gonna be using that as their cover. I have no idea, but um, again, People are clearly buying things for their pets. They're clearly buying stuff for their pets. And so again, this is another opportunity. So did I give you all some good ideas? <laughs> did I give you just based on, we did grocery and we did pets. 
So I give you some great ideas. So I'm hoping I did. I'm gonna stop sharing for two seconds. I gotta pull up something. I hope that you got some good ideas out of that um, because I like putting together bundles. Bundles is my thing. <laughs> I like it. It's one of my favorite things in the world to do because there's just so much fun in making bundles. And so I want to invite you guys to come hang out with me and let's make some bundles together. We have an amazing Black Friday special or Black Friday offer that we're doing. And I just would love for you all to just come hang out with us and make some bundles. So we have a Black Friday offer where if you go to www.ecomsellersmastery.com and invite somebody else to come, you get 50% off, which means you're paying $114, I think, $114.80 or 20 cents, one or the other. Um, you're paying $114 for our Bundles Mastery course. The Bundles Mastery course starts December the 11th. And so we're waiting until after, you know, you got past Black Friday and you shipped in all your stuff on Amazon for Christmas. So we're giving you time so that you can jump into the Bundles Mastery course. It is 50% off, so all you have to do is if you go to the site right now, go to www.ecomsellersmastery.com, and you type in 50-O-F-F-E-S-M at the bottom, the promo section, you will be able to get this Bundles Mastery course for 50% off. So it'll be like $114.50. So I'm going to go there right now so you can see what it is and what you're going to get in the course. Sellers Mastery because we're going to take it to a whole nother level. We're going to do more than what I covered tonight. And um, so there's a 50% off sale. If I go down and I click on bundles, selling bundle, we also have the Shopify course, so we're doing both of those. And if I go to the page, it's telling you exactly what to enter, 50 O-F-F-E-S-M. So I scroll down to the bottom. And let's talk about what you get. So in the course one, we're going to go through, you know, creating bundles and multi-packs and all the other stuff. We're going to talk about niches in course two. We co cover a lot of stuff in course one and course two. And um, we do talk about private label as well. In course three, we're actually going to start the process of creating listings. So we're going to create a listing, a bundle listing on Amazon. We're going to create one in course four on Walmart, uh, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay. We're also going to compile, bundle, develop some bundle concepts with you guys in class. So we will be developing bundles all through here. And then our focus is going to be like, look, for those people who want to take it to another level, we're going to do some bundle concepts in class so that you can go out and you're going to source. You'll have the opportunity to source in class one, in class two, class three, class four, and in class five, we're going to do group project. Hello. And then <laughs> as we continue going on this journey, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through subscription boxes. Some of you don't realize how much money could be made in subscription boxes. So we saw that whole doggy box like how many of you think that you can put together subscription boxes for holiday kits like they're already selling holiday kit boxes if you don't think the entire thanksgiving kit thanksgiving dinner kit put together is not a subscription box like there's a whole bunch of people they're selling all kinds of stuff they can get dinner delivered to them every week and they're selling them in kits so they do have regular food and it's but they if you can do a version of that and shelf stable food Maybe there's people that are out there that love baking. And so maybe you can do a baking subscription kit. There's all kinds of opportunities, pet subscription boxes, kids subscription boxes. So we're going to go through this in this bundles course. Let me go down here and scroll to the bottom. The course is normally uh, $229, <clears throat> although this price is going up in 2020. But if you get it right now, you type in 50 O-F-F-E-S-M. The price, as soon as you type in the M, because you have to type it, as soon as you type in the N, it goes down to $114.50. And the great thing is you get eight, um, we're going to do eight live workshops together. And in those workshops, we're going to go through and break down everything bundles related. I covered a bunch of stuff very quickly in this 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and uh, <clears throat> or almost 50 minutes, really. So I covered a lot of stuff in this 50-minute session. And I want to give you the opportunity to make some amazing bundles and make more money. Now, here's the other thing. In 2020, if you're selling on Amazon, if you didn't receive that email on November the 16th that said that all the Amazon fees are going up, you haven't been paying attention. So what does that mean? 
Hold on. I just think that the thing is not sharing. Oops. Now you can see my screen. I think you see my screen. <laughs> okay. So the screen went blank somewhere off in there. I don't know if you guys saw all the stuff that we we're going to do together before. So I apologize. I'll scroll back up here. But um, the price of uh, the fees that Amazon is going to charge you is going up in 2020. So you need to maximize your opportunity to make a profit on Amazon if you're going to keep selling on Amazon. And Amazon's a great platform to sell on, but the fees are going to go up, period. So you need to maximize that opportunity by raising your price. And bundles and multipacks are a way to raise your price to get more money by putting things together. So if you learn how to put stuff together, you can raise the price of product. You can take a product <coughs> that normally sells, sorry, you know, maybe a product that normally sells for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and you put it together with other products that are a couple of dollars and sell it for like $19.99, $25.99, $35.99. I've done it over and over and over again, $45.99. So you're taking maybe you spent five dollars into this entire bundle or six dollars into this bundle. And you're selling it for $35.99. So paying attention to, okay, what is it that people are interested in? What do the people need? What is a problem that I can solve? And using bundles to be able to do that. So we're going to be doing this in this bundles workshop. All you have to do is go to www.ecomsellersmastery.com. And then once you go to www.ecomsellersmastery.com, you will be able to put in 50 off ESM and get 50% off. So the other thing about Ecom Sellers Mastery, the workshop, is that you get lifetime access to it. So whenever we teach the bundles workshop again, you get to come absolutely free. You can come hang out with us. You don't have to pay again. You can come absolutely free. So every time we teach the bundles workshop, you get to come and join us absolutely free. You get the updated training in your back office absolutely free. We're going to go over pictures. We're going to go over how to take pictures. We're going to talk about how to put together pictures without taking pictures. I love that one. That's my favorite. It's how to put together pictures without taking pictures. Oh, I love that. So we're going to go through that exercise and that activity. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I hope that you all will take advantage of this Black Friday promotion, this Black Friday special. Go to www.ecomsellersmastery.com right now. Choose selling bundles. And then once you do that, come down to the bottom. Type in 50 O F F E S M. You can put it in uppercase or lowercase. As long as you put five zero and then O F F E S M, you'll get it for $114.50. You get eight sessions and we start after Black Friday. So go register, go tell a friend. I hope this information was a blessing. Did I give you guys some great ideas for bundling? Did I give you some ideas? or how to make money online? Did I give you some great ideas on what you could sell yourself? Like some of you are probably going to go, you know what? I'm going to run with that dog thing. I'm going to run with the baby clothes thing. I'm going to go and do some <laughs> grocery multi-packs because consumables sell all day long. So I hope this was a blessing to you. I hope this was a blessing to your business. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. And I hope to see you in the Bundles Workshop class because we're gonna have a great time. All right, you have a question, definitely wanting to be in the bundles. What's your question? I may email you. What's your question? Just go ahead and ask. I'm here to answer questions. Tell me what your question is. I am happy to answer it. Before I jump off of here, can you print the coupon code? Can you print the coupon code? Print there, uh, print it? I don't wanna know what you mean by print. You want me to type it in the chat? Um, I can type it in the chat. <laughs> 50 O F F E S M. But you have to type it. You if you copy and paste it, it won't work because the page is triggered by the typing. So the only way you're going to get the code is you have to type it. So yeah, just type 50 O F F E S M. And let's go make a whole bunch of money, especially in 2022. Even when everybody else's fees are going up and everybody's price is going up. So do you recommend an Amazon business seller account? Absolutely. I mean, you to sell to other businesses, B2B? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have changed so much. Well, okay. So I recommend if you're going to be an Amazon seller that you get a professional account at a minimum. And then do you, is there an opportunity for you to do B2B? Absolutely. Because if you do B2B, that means you're selling to other businesses. 
So what type of bundles could you sell to other businesses? I mean, so maybe you can get a bulk set of t-shirts wholesale and you can sell them to other businesses so they can do print on demand. Um, you could do bulk ink. You could do bulk whatever and sell multiple bundles to different companies. So I did the bundles mastery course once. Do I need to pay again? No. Nope. Again, you get lifetime access to it. So every time we teach it, you get access to it absolutely free. If you buy it, you get absolutely free access to it. Oh, yeah. So yes, you should get a professional account. And then at some later point, when you have stabilized your business and stabilized your account, you should see if there's an opportunity for you to sell to other businesses and get an Amazon business account. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope to see you in the class. I'm two minutes over and I'm just glad that you showed up. So tell someone else about this. Uh, this sale ends on Cyber, well, like Cyber Monday, which is the 29th. My calendar's over there it's on the wall, uh, back behind my son's stuff. So tell somebody else about it. Let's get this class filled with people so that we can all make a bunch of money in 2022 uh, selling bundles. We'll say goodbye for now. Bye, y'all.